we're gonna we're gonna switch it over to some baseball now in a segment yeah. we're gonna call the hot corner yeah uh because did you play third base I played shortstop and catcher and outfield. Yeah, I never played third base either. So that's why it's appropriately called the hot corner. Um, we're going <laughs> to do some baseball talk here. So we're recording this on Monday night. The 2022 Baseball Hall of Fame ballots will be officially revealed Tuesday night. Um, basically, I think Scott and I, for like the next you know couple months, however long baseball's off, uh, are just going to talk baseball, especially like late nineties, two thousands, twenty tens baseball. Yeah. Um, we'll, maybe we'll do like redrafts. That would be cool. That'd be cool. So Scott and I are going to go through the twenty twenty two. It's BBW. It's the Baseball Writers, uh, Baseball Writers of Amer- Association of America. Their ballot for players who are on the ballot this year, and. Do you want to do like a top 10 of who, like 10 players that you would put on your ballot or do you yeah, just want, or do you just want to go through player by player? Let's go. Maybe let's go player by player. And okay. We'll so, give like a percentage that they're going to be in. Okay. I like that. So we might not go through the whole 30 list here that I have on baseball reference. No, but, well, let's go through the notable ones. People that one, so, one people might know. It's okay. So, so Barry Bonds. Um, this is his 10th year. If you don't know, basically you have 10 years after you retire, you have 10 years of active eligibility to get in. And if you don't get in, then you're off the ballot and then you don't get elected. You get, you could get elected in what is called the golden days era committee, where a bunch of old white men go back to the sixties and seventies and fifties, even and look at players who batted 245 and then considered you a hall of famer. Um, they might do that in 20, 30 years with Barry Bonds, but who knows? So Barry Bonds last year got 61.8% of the vote. You need at least 75% or more to get in. We all know Barry Bonds has 762 home runs. He has almost 2,000 ribbies, 1,996 RBIs. Batting average of 298 career, 444 on-base percentage. Obviously, there's the steroid controversy with Barry Bonds. Uh, If you go from, like, his rookie year photo with the Pittsburgh Pirates to the year he was, you know, with the San Francisco Giants, you know, on the streak, um, you can tell that he's, you know, got some bigger biceps. Yeah, he he, he put on some muscle. He, 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 He put on quite a bit of muscle. Quite a bit of muscle. Yeah. So Barry Bonds, and then I, I want to, I think this is more of a moral argument on if you think that Barry Bonds should be a Hall of Famer, yes or no, because of the steroid use. So I think if you're like, I think if you're saying yes to Bonds being in the Hall of Fame, you're probably putting in Roger Clemens and you're probably putting in A Rod, who we'll talk about later. But I'm curious no, to know yeah. what your thoughts about Bonds, if he's a Hall of Famer or not. Based purely on his numbers, based purely on the impact on the game that he had outside of Roy's use, he's a surefire ballot Hall of Famer. He's probably he's probably going in his first year of eligibility, if not for all the, the shit off the field. The ethical concerns of putting a guy who was on Roy's. Yeah. Exactly. Like you can like again, it's kind of like the whole debate with Lance Armstrong. Is that he he's arguably one of the greatest cyclists of all time, but because of his steroid use all those accomplishments, all those achievements are kind of diminished, right? So it's, it's a very, like you said, it's a very, it's an ethical dilemma that it's, yeah, based, like I said, based on numbers alone, he is as elite as elite gets. Um, but man, I don't know. Let's, I mean, the fact you got 61% of votes last year says something says to me that there's a chance that he'll get it yeah. um right and again based on and you, you, we talked pre-podcast like they do give a little bit of bias towards 10th year eligible players right they'll give them an extra, extra look or two be like you know what maybe this guy deserves to get in like yeah we'll 
maybe we'll look past the steroids because he put up such good numbers, albeit, and he had an impact on the Giants because he played for the Giants for a lot of his career. Well, and and like, how fun would like baseball was really fun when he was chasing down the record when he was chasing oh, down the home run oh, record. Like, like it was so fun and so exciting. Like checking sports center every day or going online and checking like oh did barry bonds hit a home run today did he get it you know home run now it's kind of like watching ovechkin get the goals it's it's it's, it's kind of late and again it's fun man it's fun to see guys hit home runs and again he was hitting them out of uh what we call at&t park into mccovey cove like it's yeah every every splash hit that he got like that was fun that was exciting like that's that's the issue that you're 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 stuck with with bonds was like you steroids steroids is cheating but man was the game fun when he was playing was it was it fun and nothing nothing like seeing a smooth swinging lefty like pump balls into the into the cove at San Fran. like it's yeah and this is so fun he's just such a great hitter a beautiful swing and this is the same dude who's getting walked when the bases were loaded in like extra inning games like that's that's how threatening he was he had 2,558 walks in his career. The next highest on this list. So for reference, David Ortiz, big poppy, who's also on this list, who also got walked a lot. Yes. Only got walked 1,319 times. That's absurd. That's almost double. Yeah. Just shows you how, again, he had such an impact on the game and he like changed the way pitchers faced when, him. When that hit, when, went at haters. Exactly. Yeah, exact 100%. And again, they're and again, now now what we've seen when we've been alive again, Bert Bond start like was kind of playing when we were very little, but from the era of him and Sosa and early A-Rod, um, Maguire and Griffey Maguire, and like all those guys. Yeah, all those guys. The game's changed so much since then and now what this is kind of what the result of what we're seeing now is that all these absolute trucks that just destroy the baseball they get pitched too differently because of it yeah i'm gonna say he doesn't get in i think he's gonna get about 70 percent of the vote he'll get close he's gonna get yeah Uh, yeah i'm I'm gonna say he misses out okay i don't know if i would include i i'm gonna say i wouldn't include him because i'm gonna i'm gonna stay on the right course with ethics here um i'm gonna throw it to a rod here let's let's do a little a rod talk sure so 696 home runs, 2,086 yep. RBIs, 380 on base percentage. He has one World Series title in his win in, in his career. Yep. 2009 with the Yankees, 14 time All Star. Yep. A lot. Hated in Seattle. A 211 game mm-hmm. suspension originally given to him for his drug uh, for steroids. Then reduced to 162 games. Um, here's the thing: I think the writers don't like ba- you know Barry Bonds already. I think they hate A Rod even more. Like I don't see A Rod getting into the hall. Maybe like we'll have this conversation differently in 10 years from now. Um, yeah. But I don't. Again, A-Rod's eligible for 10 years now, starting now. Yeah, I don't think he gets in this year, but I think he will get in eventually. You know what? Else, you know what also pisses me off about A Rod. Not that he was, a, you know, a former man or who decided to leave, <laughs> but I sent some bias coming from this response. Well, so now in like post playing career, right? Sure. A Rod's doing like a bunch of different media things. Like he's been with Fox Sports. Um, he's been on Shark Tank. Yeah. He's now doing Sunday Night Baseball. They just announced that he's going to be doing like fucking A Rod cast, like a Manny cast, but for baseball. Right. This upcoming season with Michael K. A. Rod was never a likable person in his pl- like in, in his like, except for like his early playing career in Seattle when it's like this is a young hotshot kid in the, yeah. you know the Pacific Northwest and that whole manner scene like that was different. But since he okay. went, to, you know, he cashed in. He went to Texas, started doing steroids. Never had a likable personality. Jeter can attest to this. And now all of a sudden in his post-playing career, we're all being forced to like Alex Rodriguez because of who he was as a you know baseball player. 
And it's like this dude, when he came back, was the most hated dude in baseball and was a scumbag. And now all of a sudden I have to like him? Yeah. It's, again, one of those things with Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens and Sosa and Mark McGuire and now A-Rod here. It's very... Yeah, it's it is it is a big debate and very interesting what voters are gonna do. Like I said, I think he does get in eventually, but it's not gonna be this year, purely purely because of the off field antics and some of the stuff that's happened. And um it is too bad because all the hate aside, A Rod's a hell of a baseball player. Yeah, I mean not in a postseason though. No. Fair enough. He has one, only one World Series, and he played on a stack Yankees team. Fine. Sometimes that's just how it happens, right? So, it's yeah, I very interesting with a Rod. Very, very interesting. I, I do, I do agree with you though. Like I, I am, you know, very petty when it comes to this sort of stuff. But I, I, I do think eventually he will get in. I don't know why. I think he'll get. Yeah, I think he's more likely to get in than Barry Bonds is. To be honest, yeah, I could see that. Maybe that's there's a recency bias to that because Bonds has been on this list for ten years now, and Aaron's just in his first year. Um, but yeah, it's very polar. I think the right word for Aaron's polarizing. Yeah, that's every, a, every yeah. facet that you can look at, and again, yeah, he did some dumb things, but he was also a hell of a baseball player, and he, like you said, a fourteen time All Star, World Series champion. Like, so, it's hard to argue against that. So, so a rod, sure. Career three sixty five on base percentage in the postseason, pretty good. That's it's a okay. little underwhelming, That's and okay. and in the, his last like so he was on the Yankees team that went to the wild card game in twenty fifteen against Houston, uh, went zero for four in that game with two strikeouts, um, had a one eleven uh, on base percentage against the Tigers in the 2012 ALCS, had a 222 on base percentage and 18 plate appearances against the Orioles in the 20, yeah, and in, in, in that ALDS. This is later in his career, though. Yeah, I mean, he did hit, you know, he, had, he did have a 500 on base percentage against the Twins in 2009 and the DS, 567 in the ALCS. He had a, so basically, like, he had uh, a really good run in 2004 and 2005 even though in 2004 they lost to the red sox in the alcs they lost to the angels in the 2005 alds and they won the world series in 2009 and then they lost to texas in the 2010 alcs that's kind of what i remember like thinking back on that now of just like miss opportunity like a that was a, a weird yankees team too and like that er, in the, like the early to mid 2000s where like they were loading up with like Teixeira, they had an old jeter they had an old a rod ichiro yeah. cc yeah oh you mean like the early 2010s 2010s excuse me yeah 2010s yeah. mid to mid 2010s like yeah the the well, i mean the yankees always Keep, first of all, the Yankees, they always have money to be able to be in contention. Oh, yeah. And that's why you get all these weird old teams. You get, like, washed up superstars, you name it. And then you get, like, some guys that come in that are just very random. N- now they have a good prospect, but it's a bit different. Glaber Torres and... Um, well, now they have, like, like the yeah. Yankees, sh- like, should have been a World Series in the last five years. With Torres yeah. and Sanchez yeah. and Aaron Judge, Stanton... Judge. Batances as well as hell of a So, yeah. But again, like, like I said, to my point, like they they have enough money to load up and be able to trade for and acquire these players, like like a guy like Stanton, take him out of Miami and like pay him, yeah. you know, pay the Dolphins fifty to seventy five cents on the dollar to get him, and that's how you go on some of these runs. Yep, exactly. Uh, so a Rod, we do think we'll get in, just not this year. Not this year. Yeah. Uh, speaking of guys they paid uh, 50 cents on the dollar for, uh, Roger Clemens, former uh, Yankees pitcher, former Red Sox pitcher, former Blue Jays pitcher. I don't know. If you're not putting in bonds this year, then you're probably not putting Clemens in either. No, Again, hell of a career, hell of a pitcher, but not, not going to do it for me, unfortunately. I don't think he gets in either. It's a, I think it's a steroid and just – the personality too, I think rubs people the wrong way. 
Yeah. Um, you know, he's got the accolades. He's, he's got, got the he's got the titles. Um yeah, it just you know, these are writers, personalities that are, you know, being mis- you know, meshed together that don't always work out. And I think that's what you'll see with uh Clemens not getting in this year. That's my take. Yeah. So who does get in? Tell All me. Right. Let's let's get to that. Who gets in? So, can we all we both agree David Ortiz is a lock? I think he is. I feel like he. Listen, you voted in Edgar two years, uh, three years ago. You voted in Edgar. So if you're voting, if you're putting Edgar in, you can put David Ortiz in. You can't have one without the other because basically Edgar created the position for David Ortiz. Sure, fair enough. And Ortiz ran with it. Ortiz, yeah. Here's the thing, Martin. You know. Martinez walked so Big Poppy could run, even though Big Poppy never ran in his entire career. Sure. Uh, viewers who don't know, Edgar Martinez played for the Seattle Mariners is a legendary Seattle Mariner. F, just sidebar. A little bit of bias, maybe, with the Edgar Martinez DH talk. Anyways. I don't know. I don't know if Manny gets in either. Ramirez? Really? Yeah, he only got 28% of the vote last year. That's a he's big still, jump. That's a big jump to make. He might not get in this year, but I think he will get in eventually. Probably. He was, I, man, he was too much, too fun. He's too fun of a guy not to get in. Well, he had the steroids problem too, right? I know. Yeah. Okay. But, but in like, the, it, like, I, I really want to hit on this. Like in the late 2000s, like as a Manners fan, it was just, I, I remember like as a little kid being like, oh shit, the Red Sox are in town. Yeah. And, and here's Big Poppy. Manny Ramirez, Dustin Pedroia, Dustin Pedroia, Kevin yeah. Euclid, yeah. Mike kind Lowell. Of a, kind of a deadly team. Deadly team. And same with the Yankees. Like, this is the same Yankees team where it's like, oh, shit. You know, when they come to town, it's like, here's A-Rod, Jeter, Jorge Posada, Hideki Matsui, yeah. Dame, like all these and guys. Again, there were a few years where the, the Rays were very good, too. Yeah. Right? No. And that's, that's this is all in one division. The AL East is, okay, to be fair, always been stacked, but it's – Especially more so now. Now, now the Jays are good. The Rays are still good. The Red Sox and Yankees are still the Red Sox and Yankees. The Orioles, we know, are shit now. But it's, I'm, I, I'm surprised Buck Showalter isn't still managing the Orioles. But like, I like that's the, that's the impact that like Manny had. Like, yeah. it is like when you when they came to town, when the Red Sox came to town, they always had like good starting pitching, yeah. and it was oh fuck, how are we gonna get through the three four of Ortiz and, and Manny Ramirez or Ramirez or Ortiz like. Yeah, that like, that team was so good. I, I I agree with you. He was a part of the 2004 Red Sox team mm-hmm. when they you know just got over the hump and finally won the World Series. So he'll probably get in for that. I feel like. Yeah, I, sure. I don't know. I don't know if it's this year though. No, for sure. Um, same with Todd Helton. He's got 44 percent of the vote this year. I think Todd Helton- 44 last year. Yep. Todd Helton probably gets in in like the next two years. I agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so in terms of guys I'd actually put in this year, Ortiz, Todd, Ortiz, Todd Helton. I so I would so here's my ballot. My ballot would be sure. Manny Ramirez. Yep. Helton. Yep. Ortiz. I don't think I'd put in Andy Pettit. He, he's close, but not yet. Yeah, I mean, I think you can make an argument for Prince Fielder. It's yep. maybe not a great one, but I think you can make an argument for it. Yep. Um, like, I'm looking at guys, like, lower down. Like, it's really tough to make yeah. an argument. Like, it, it's really tough to make an argument right now for Torrey Hunter and, and, and Lincecum. I mean, Lincecum, like, did have his moments, but he only, like, he was only really useful in the one playoff run for the Giants when they won the World and Series. He only played for 10 seasons. It wasn't like he had a long-lasting career, right? It was very kind of sh- like he was there and then he was gone. It was very, yeah. His, 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 his high was his, like, his peak was his peak. And oh, after absolutely. that, and after that, it was just, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so. I mean, I don't know if I'd put in Omar Vizquel. He's obviously going through some off-the-field stuff. Scott Rowland, yeah. I mean, Billy Wagner, I think you can make a, a good argument for Billy Wagner too. Yep. But probably right now, guys, I, I would I, I would 
feel confident in, in putting in would probably be Manny, Helton, and Ortiz. Ortiz, yeah. I, I agree with you there. And again, we'll see what the voters decide on. But I think those three are there for sure. And then maybe one or two more. Yeah, there you go. 